Hi there. Let me talk a bit about the basic ingredients in Kasadi. One of the basic ideas in Kasadi is that it helps the user to formulate an optimization problem and solve it efficiently. So the, the idea is that one problem has multiple formulations and you want to try, try out uh, several of them. And what we offer is rapid prototyping. So with a little bit of effort you can explore really a wide range of formulations. And even though uh, you can do this in, in a couple of hours rapidly, you still get performance that is, uh, let's say, state of the art. So that's the idea. And four ingredients uh, make this possible. So there is efficient symbolics, there is algorithmic differentiation, matrix valued graphs and function embedding. Um, so the core idea, as I said, was computer-aided formulation of optimization problems. So typically you start from a formulation on a piece of paper and you want to port it to the computer. So consider this hypothetical language where you can declare optimization variables and then create some expressions and pass it to a solver. That's what we could wish for in the end. So there's two important notions. You have symbolic primitives and you have expressions, compositions of these primitives. And it's really the expressions that you pass on to the solver. And you desire that the solver knows by itself what the gradients, the Jacobians and the Hessians are to find the optimum. So in a gradient-based optimization solver. So let's consider a basic example and it's single shooting uh, with a scalar uh, ODE. So X is the state and we have rights and sides here. And what we want to do is we have a fixed time horizon with n steps and we want to minimize uh, the end state given the degree of freedom to tune or choose the initial state. So how could we do this in our hip hypothetical language? Declare optimization variables and then do an explicit uh, Euler step. So you say the expression for state at time 1 is just the initial state plus delta t times the right hand side. And then for the state at time 2 is just a repetition and so on. So in the end you have a large expression in that says you the state at xn and then you can pass this to the optimizer. So that's the basic approach to do a uh, single shooting. Of course, you don't need to copy-paste, literally, you can do some scripting, adding a for loop. Um, now, this hypothetical language uh, exists in some forms. In MATLAB you can do MUPAD, and you have this code. You can do YALMAP. In Python you can use uh, symbolic Python. And this talk is about Casadio, where you have the syntax both in Python and in MATLAB. So is there really a difference between, difference between those? Well, one difference is efficiency. So let's consider this example of single shooting. And I have plotted here on the y-axis the time it takes to evaluate this. So the time it takes to construct the expression for the end state. So I'm not talking about optimization yet, just executing this a uh, simple single shooting code. On the horizontal axis I have plotted the number of time steps. And what we expect that for an efficient uh, symbolic system the complexity is linear in the number of time steps. And that's indeed what you see for Casali. So to get an idea why it is not that trivial to get uh, linear complexity let's try to expand it on paper. So the expression for the uh, state at time 2 is given by this and x1 we had here before. So if we want to write it in full we need to make three copies. So in the end you get a long expression um, for x2 and for x3 it would be even larger. It would be three copies of this whole thing. So you see you get easily exponential complexity here. So what would it look like in an efficient implementation? You would use a, a graph representation. 
So we have symbolic primitives on top, and we construct a graph uh, with nodes and, and rows. So if we're in the first for loop, what would happen is we first compute a times x. So we have a multiplication node. We would ask for the cosine. We would uh, add these together, multiply with dt, add it to x, and so on. Now we uh, are at the expression of the state at time 1. When we look through the for loop, we just repeat this block. So you see you get uh, a number of, of nodes that is linear in a number of uh, for loop iterations. Second ingredient is algorithmic differentiation. So AD holds the promise that you can evaluate uh, your forward or reverse mode sensitivity with the cost of a small multiple of the original. So this means that if you request the Jacobian of the end state with respect to the initial, that a linear uh, relationship should stay linear. And that's exactly what you see in this graph where we ask for the Jacobian. So for Kasadi, uh, Jacobian stays linear. For the others, uh, it goes up a little bit. Uh, a third ingredient is uh, matrix-valued graphs. So here on the left, you see a graph uh, with nodes that are matrices. So A is here a 2 by 2 matrix, and X is a 2 by 1 matrix, or a 2 vector if you want. And then a matrix multiplication, uh, here in the MATLAB syntax, is uh, represented in memory as a single multiplication node. So that's matrix valued. If we go to a scalar expression, uh, then you see uh, we decompose the 2 by 2 matrix into individual entries. And it's these individual entries that are composed in scalar operations, and the results of these are passed uh, into the output. So if you are familiar with compiler terminology, it's a little bit like loop and rolling. And in Cassadi you can easily go from left to right here by doing a scalar expansion. So usually for small matrices uh, it gives you a speed up. On the other hand, uh, the matrix, the matrix valued graph is very efficient in memory, while the scalar uh, valued graph is good in speed. Um, last ingredient is function embedding. So, in, as I said before, uh, when we go through the for loop, we get a repetition of this set of nodes. So you might wonder why do we need to repeat uh, this whole set of nodes? Can't we just group them? And that's exactly with what we do with function embedding. So we group uh, the set of nodes together and we give them uh, label, we call it f a function. And then we just go from uh, the initial state and some dynamics and we compute the state at the end. So f just computes the state uh, one time after, it does the integration. So it's an abstraction. And now you end up with a matrix graph uh, with only five nodes. So the symbolic primitives here, and then three calls to the f-block. And the f-block itself is then a simple um, um, scalar expression function. Um, so in, mat in uh, Kasari syntax, the function can be easily constructed uh, by making um, a small expression graph with local symbolic primitives. And then you just declare uh, the inputs here, x and a. You see the arrows x and a, and then the small expression here at the end. And you, then you can just call these um, here in the loop. So the syntax, as is displayed on this slide, may vary uh, whether you're using um, MATLAB or Python, of course. But this is basically the idea. So besides this uh, simple uh, SX function and MX function that you can embed, there are other things like uh, a Newton solver to solve an implicit function, a linear solver to solve a linear system, an integrator, and so on. 
and all these blocks uh, they can just live in the graph and if you do the Jacobian or the Hessian of the graph uh, you will get the correct results. So this is uh, basically the summary of Kasari. Thank you for watching.